Hi, welcome to a Chip Off the Old Block Toys. I'm Jeff, and today we're going to review Lego set 42125, which is titled um, Ferrari 488 GTE AF Course Number 51. I don't understand what all that means, but I do understand Legos, and this was a fun build. So let's go ahead and let's jump into the evaluation. This set retails for $169.99, which works itself out to be um, 10 cents, 10.1 cents per piece. There's 1,677 pieces on this guy. Um, for a value, I'm gonna put it at an eight. And the reason why is the high piece ratio. And a lot of these pieces are very small. They're Technic pins, connectors. I don't feel that they're worth 10 cents. That's just a little too much. Uh, as far as creativity, I will give it a 10. It, this does look like a Ferrari. I, I do like the spoiler in the back as well as um, you've got working doors, you've got your mirrors, you've got your uh, hood here, which doesn't open, I thought it did, but all I'm doing is breaking it. So um, it does have the front here uh, with the, the headlights here, which I think are pretty cool. I like the running boards here. And uh, like I said, in the, uh, the engine in the back, just like it would in the real one. And the steering is controlled by the steering wheel, as well as when you move the uh, wheels, the engine pistons go up and down. So it's pretty cool. So creativity is a 10. Playability, I'm also going to give it a 10. Even though this is not a minifigure scale and this is not one that you typically would play with, it does um, display nicely with like the green Lamborghini, the Bugatti, uh, the Porsche, there's many other things. I mean, you got the red, I'm sorry, you got the um, orange Porsche, you got the white Porsche. There's many different sets that are like this, so it does fit nicely with that. Ease of build, um, you know, I, what I do is if it's a 10, that means it's the easiest build in the world. If it's a one, it's the hardest build. I'm gonna give this a two. This was very difficult to build. The instructions were not very clear um, on several points and just the amount of pieces, it's very easy to trip yourself up. And with Technic, um, if you mess something up, if you don't catch it soon, you're going to find yourself tearing this thing down pretty far to get to the mistake to reverse it. And also the stickers and the amount of stickers also led to it being hard, a very hard build. It's hard to get these stickers straight. I did a pretty good job, I think, but um, it took a lot of concentration. And, uh, you know, I, I just don't think that was a very easy build, so I'll give it a two. Well, in keeping with what I do here, I do have other uh, Lego Ferrari sets I'd like to compare this set to. Let me start off this comparison by saying that these are not the only Ferrari cars that I own of Legos. I own several of the Formula One racers. Uh, those came out as a whole entire series. I've got the Garage. I've got the Scuderia. Scuderia. Um, truck, the semi with the Formula One racer in it. Actually, I have both versions, the older and the newer. Um, I've got the finish line. I've got the garage for Formula One. I've got quite a bit, but I just wanted to um, focus more upon the cars rather than the Formula One. So let's start off with this guy here. This guy here, it came out, he came out in 2015, and this is set 10248. It's the Ferrari F40 and it's 1,158 pieces. Um, as a side note, I actually own two of these. Um, this one I bought on purpose. The other one, I went to a secondhand store, and in the secondhand store, they sold Legos in a tote for like $40, and in that tote was this almost fully assembled. So I actually have two. I'm only displaying one, though. The other one I probably won't build ever. Um, but this one I do like. This one does have lights that do uh, come up, um, the headlights, and also the front part here does come up to reveal the trunk instead of uh, the motor because the motor's in the back. You've got rear view mirrors, you've got working doors, you've got some, can't really see it that well, but I love these bucket seats. These are awesome. Uh, the steering is not controlled. Uh, by the steering wheel like the other one is. Um, it does have the, the uh, rear window, which I like. 
and it does come up to reveal a very detailed engine, which I think is very cool. And it came complete with a piece that you can put up here that will hold it up for you. So I think LEGO did a really good job. I love the uh, triple exhaust here. Um, love the rest of this here. It's a great set. This one here is also a Ferrari F40, but this one is a Speed Champion variety. It's very small, comes with a lot of stickers. And this one here is set number 75890. It came out in 2019, has 193 pieces, and it comes with one minifigure. Now this one's claim to fame is that you can actually pull this out and change it if you want to have a different look. And you also can change out the spoiler and also the back, the exhaust. It's a pretty cool little set and not, not bad for, you know, being just a little under 200 pieces. And this one is the Scuderia Corsa. And this one here came out in 2018, 175 pieces, one minifigure with a trophy. And this one here, just a bunch of stickers, not much to it. I mean, the cockpit does come up to allow you to put somebody in there. It does have the dual exhaust, the spoiler. I think it's pretty cool. And then last but not least, we have this guy here, and that's set number 75890. It came out in 2019. It's also Speed Champions and 193 pieces, and it's called the Ferrari F40. Oh, I'm sorry. I messed that up. This is 75890. This one's 75899, and it came out in 2015, 159 pieces. Sorry for that blunder. And this one here is called the La Ferrari. Um, it comes with many stickers and basically just a basic uh, cockpit that opens up for to have a guy sit in here. I do like the wheels on this guy. Um, and yes, they do have different wheels on that. That's the way that one is. And oh, it's got a pretty cool back end too. I like that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please hit the like button, please subscribe. Uh, also leave me a comment below and turn on all notifications and that is the best way to help the channel is to hit the like button and leave a comment below those two things help the algorithm uh, score you know higher on the algorithm so it pushes us out to new, new audience and so um, even if your comment is I'm commenting to support the algorithm that still counts so if you'd like to do that go ahead and also you can head over to my store uh, on Bricklink it's called a chip off the old block the link is in the description we have a little over a million pieces and we've got about 200,000 pieces we're sorting right now that will be coming online here in the next week or two. So if you want to support the channel and support yourself at the same time to help you get your pieces for your mocks and, mo and mods, head there and go ahead and order from us. We usually ship within 24 business hours. Uh, weekends and holidays are excluded from that shipping uh, handling time. All right. We'll be good to each other. Stay safe out there and I'll catch you in the next video.